Hi guys, it's Natalie. I'm 47. I have dry, sensitive, aging skin, and I just got the fall box. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I have used some of the products in the fall box, uh, and so what I did was I took a shower, I washed my face, and I used a toner just so that I can spot test while I'm open, opening these things up and talking about them. Um, I was excited to try it even though I have used some of the products because um, there's something that's really special in there and I'll talk about it in a second. So first thing that you get when you open the fall box is you get your little insert that has, let me put my glasses on or I won't be able to read it, which has a suggested fall box routine and tells you all the products and a little bit about them. So you get that, which is pretty awesome. I'll read that in a minute. So what I did in the shower, which is one of the things that I always do every evening, is I used the vacuum cleansing oil, which I love. Um, I still have some left, so I just use my old one, or the one that I've had for a while. And after that, I use the aloe and oat cleanser. And I have used this before. I have um, half of it left because I bought it for my daughter and she never used it so I took it back <laughs> but anyway um, it smells very light there's there's really not a lot of scent to it that I can discern um, but it's very soothing I really like it um, I normally use goat milk and rice cleanser but I figured you know I can always use aloe and oat because my plan for the fall box is to just specifically use the fall box products till I can't anymore um, last year, before I found Sabbatical Beauty, I um, in the fall is when my skin totally freaked out. And so I'm hoping that this will keep that at bay. I look really red right now, I just noticed, but that's just because I took a shower in the heat. So that's what, you know, pale people problems. I have, you know, red skin. And um, this is a botanical acid cleanser, or toner, excuse me, which is the strongest one that um, Adeline has made. And this is, again, the one I got as a Backstage Pass hold, uh, member. So um, I still have quite a lot of it left. I only use it once a day, and um, I leave it for 20 minutes. I use it at night, and then I do the rest of my routine. So here is where all the new stuff starts. So I've got apple cider serum. So i got to admit, I've never actually had apple cider. I don't, I don't know. I just never have. I'm from Republic of Panama and then most of my life I spent in Miami, Florida, so I guess it's just not a thing we do. Oh my god, that smells really, really good though. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, you know, it, it's got like a cinnamony smell to it and that's all I can really smell right now, but that's pretty nice. So let me shake it up a little bit because like I said, I want to spot test it and see what this is all about. Uh, just like one drop, I think. So, let me see. So it's got like a nice little slip to it. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna put it on this left cheek so I don't forget the, the side, just to see if I have any reaction to it. Oh, it smells really nice. Very cinnamony, I think. And then the next one is a uh, pumpkin spice latte serum. So apparently this is supposed to be very plumping, so that's kind of nice to know, especially like in the mornings, I think. You wake up in the morning, you're a little bit dehydrated. Yeah, that smells really nice too. Okay, it, it's not pumpkin-y to me at all, which is good because I'm not really a fan of pumpkin, but it smells really nice. Oh, yeah, let me try this one. I'll use another finger. So... This one, yeah, it smells really nice. I'll use on my right cheek, see how that goes. Wow, I'm really red, sorry guys. <laughs> That's what happens in the heat and with the hot water. Oh, yeah, I like that, I like the way this smell. So, my left side is um, the apple cider, and it's pretty much already sunk in, and then my Right side, seems a little bit sticky still, but not bad. I think it'll just dry up pretty nicely. And then 
Dorian Gray's Beauty Oil. This um, I've never used either, and because um, I really only use um, Sleeping Beauty Oil at night, and then during the day, on the days I don't use Sleeping Beauty Oil because I alternate Dorian Gray Serum and Sleeping Beauty Oil because they're both ret retinols. Um, I use blush, which is, um, um, you know, like a third of the way gone, I guess. But um, I really like, I only use two drops for my whole face and it's really pretty nice. So this is the Dorian Gray. This one's supposed to smell like rose. Uh, this one? I guess this, oh yeah, okay, now I smell it. Yeah, it's very, very light smelling. Um, actually, I don't know if it smells just like blush, the rose. And I, actually, in this, I mean, I guess it's this batch, but um, the blush smells more like rose than Dorian Gray. At least it's stronger. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'm just going to, again, take one drop. And I guess this one I will put on my chin. Why not? Oh, that's really nice. It's definitely um, an oil, but I like it. Yeah, I can definitely smell the rose now. Oh, it's very nice. It's very light though. So if you have sensitivities to scent, it won't, it shouldn't bother you. So this is main reason I got the fall box because I missed out when they were selling out on the Ekaterina luxury cream. And um, I don't know, I like cream. So that's really my thing. So I really wanted to try it, but you know, it's like, it is an expensive product. Oh look, little gold flecks. Oh, it smells really nice. Very light. Um, let me get a spatula and try it. Just getting like a really tiny amount just to try it. And I'll put that on my forehead, I think. So it's definitely creamier than I think some of the, um, the sleeping packs or the other creams I have. I'm gonna put it on the left side of my forehead. I'll put it on the right side too, I guess. Don't wanna waste it. So like right here and here, and these will be the spots. So I've got apple cider, pumpkin spice latte, Dorian Gray, and Ekaterina on the sides of my forehead here. Oh, that feels really nice. It's very, um, oh, just nice slip, and it just feels really nice. And then the other thing in here that I was really excited for, although I'm not like a prolific masker, um, I do do them like once a week, but I was wanting to try the Witch's Brew just because of the sage and all the other stuff that's in it. I think it has pumpkin too, if I don't remember correctly. Oh, mm, that's really nice. It does smell just like sage. It's really nice. And I don't know if you can see. I mean, I guess mine came pretty... Oh, there's a liquidy part there, but I just use a spatula. Actually, I'm in my bathroom, but I spray alcohol on this knife, and that's what I use to um, mix up detox, so I guess that's what I use for witches brew, too. Oh, that's going to smell nice. I'm not going to try that. I'll have to try that some other time because I don't want to leave it on my skin. Um, and then the final product from the fall box, which is pretty exciting, too. So I didn't get the um, rose, and, rose and gold at all. Um, I think it was in the spring box. I mean, I just, I don't know. I didn't think it was something I was going to use, but then I got jealous. And so I figured, okay, I'll get it this time around. But um, it's the Merlot Sparkle Lip Balm. And let me see if I can get this out a little bit. And I'll try it on for you guys. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. It's a nice berry color, I think. Um, let me look at my other mirror. Yeah, it's a nice little berry color. And like this light, you can't really see. But again, I look super red. And if I look in the mirror over here, I don't look as red as I do on the camera. But uh, it feels really good. It's very moist feeling. So that's good. I know I, nobody likes that word. But that's how it feels. <laughs> it feels really nice. And then that's it. That's the fall box. Um, I'm excited to exclusively use this. If you guys know me in group, you know that like I use all the things every single night, basically. So I'm going to try to just use these things for the next however long it lasts and um, see how my skin does. 
Rush is supposed to start fall weather on Sunday. It's supposed to be in the 60s, highs of like 60, mid 60s. So that'll be nice. Um, today was like 88, I think. So that'll be nice and I'm excited to try it. And thanks guys and I'll see you guys in group. Bye.